Hi guys, it's Lisa. I have uh, worked myself into a different corner because um, all my other areas have been hit by the resin tornado that has been ripping through this craft room. So um, before we get started with this video, I just wanted to say hello to everybody. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Um, I do assortment, do an assortment of things. Um, I do acrylics, resin, mixed media, all kinds of things. So, um, oh, I even do some tumblers. Not a whole lot. Um, I think I've done like five or six, but, um, yeah, so thank you very much for joining me. Uh, please consider subscribing. If you're already subscribed, thank you, and make sure your little notification bell is set to all so that you do not miss any of my upcoming uh, videos or giveaways. I am hopefully coming up on a giveaway here soon. I am about a hundred away from 3,000 subscribers. So hopefully that helps. If you'd like to help make that happen faster, Please share my video with your friends and um, and I would certainly appreciate it. So uh, today's video is about a serving tray that I'm making and uh, I hope that you enjoy it. Because I really love how it turned out and uh, if you're interested as always anything I ever do is always for sale Hang on. There. anything I do on my channel is always for sale I have an Etsy store but I have not updated it in a while which I have to get back on because damn this place is filling up quick. So, um, the paintings that you see behind me are paintings from other YouTube artists that I have bought. Let's see if I can get you. Yeah, so this is my, hang on, sorry. This is my YouTube artist wall. I really like it. So, yeah, they are from all of the wonderful YouTube artists that I have uh, bought paintings from. So, those are awesome. But I have a whole three other walls filled with my stuff that I need out of here so I can make room um, to make new stuff and hang new stuff. <laughs> so um, again, stay tuned for that video. I'm going to go through, I'm going to make a video of everything I have um, that's for sale and I'll post it before I put it on Etsy. That way my subscribers and my friends and family have first dibs and uh, yeah so without further ado let's get started on today's video okay thanks see you see you soon bye oh I got this fancy little pen all right see you soon bye hi guys it's Lisa I am back from my two weeks in Michigan visiting 
family and my grandbaby. So I thought I would, while I was gone, I got a um, acrylic form. It's like a tray. It's just clear acrylic. And it comes with a paper backing and the same paper came on the front. I just peeled it off. Um, but it's to make a tray with. So uh, this particular one I got from Counterculture DIY. And it was like $23.99, I believe. Uh, it's like 18 by 14. So I thought I'd make a purple tray. Um, so today I am using some color art products. I've already mixed my resin up to save time. This one here is Mountain Mist. It's very shimmery, very gorgeous. It's a uh, color art resin art. This one here is Delphinium, also a purple, also very sparkly, hang on. Um, it is from the Diamond Galaxy line. This one is called Pretty Periwinkle. This is a uh, resin art color. beautiful. This is just the regular resin art color. As you can see there's tons of shimmer but it is it is a smaller mica. This is from the Diamond Galaxy. See how you get that rainbow almost looks like glitter but it's not. It's mica. So that's the difference between the resin art in the resin art diamond galaxy using some glitter from mr. Nola's glitter it is called vanilla orchid it's very silver holographic -y, but it's got a lot of purple the base is like a purple um, this is some color shifting, it's called Chameleon Chroma Shift uh, glitter from uh, Color Tech that I'm using. It's very, I've had it for a while, I just haven't used it. See that? Gorgeous. And then I'm using Lorez Angel White Paste, my very favorite paste, white in the world. And then this is Resin Arts uh, Bling It Violet. Oh, and then I've got a tint here also, which is totally transparent. Here, I'll put it up on the side of the glass and you'll be able to see. See? Now this is from <clears throat> Color Art also, um, but to mix these tints up, you have to put a little bit of the powder in a cup and then a little bit of uh, alcohol and let it dissolve. And then you can use it in your resin. Um, and I will probably be using the liquid silver from Montana in the can. All right. So let's do this. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. Hang on one second.
Okay. All right. So this will be a clear. Um, so normally I would tape the back, but because it's already comes with paper, I don't have to do that. They also have a circular one too. Geodish. See how it comes with both sides of paper. Um, so I wanted to try. them out and I have some of these also these are just also acrylics um, these are from Lole Vefe um, so yeah I just wanted to try these out I saw um, I saw these ones on um, artsy mad woman her channel so I have some old these came off of my cupboards in one of my old houses and I took them off and saved them when we moved so these will probably be the tray handles cool all right so I don't know where we're gonna start here Guess we're just going to lay some stuff down and move it around. So, I actually think I'm going to put some clear down first just so that my colors will flow good. I don't need that much. What a mess. Sticky, sticky mess. Right, I'm just going to warm it up just a bit. This just helps your colors um, flow more easily. I guess I could get some more. I thought it would be more than enough. The resin I'm using tonight is from KS Resin. Um, I am an affiliate with them. I have tried, this is their liquid art. I have tried their liquid art. I have tried their liquid cast and their liquid stone. Um, all of them are very good. They have all of the good stuff you want in a resin. Um, the UV protectant, longer working time. Uh, they have no VOCs, but that doesn't mean just means that there's no it makes it um, 
They say it's non-toxic, but I mean, we're adding pigment and we're adding heat and we're adding, you know, different chemicals. So the two chemical reactions together do put off um, fumes. So safety wise, I suggest you wear a respirator. This is the one, I don't want to put this in my resin. This is the one I have right here. It is in my Amazon shop. So I'm going to put that on because I'm going to be heating the resin. So I might sound like I have Darth Vader on. So bear with me one second here. This particular mask that I have, it um, has a voice thing in it to where you can still communicate. I'm just going to have to talk louder. Hang on one second. Okay guys, so hopefully you can hear me. If you can't, then all the information will be below in the description. So I'm just gonna lay the colors down now. bubbles out real quick so yeah I'm sorry I sound muffled but safety first guys safety first I'm just going to lay these colors down in no, no particular order. That was the delphinium. And this is the pretty periwinkle. is the mountain mist. This here is the viola, it's the tint, transparent. I'll most likely be making more of the tint because I do want um, the colors it to be like um, transparent some of the tray to be transparent This is the Bling It Violet. 
it is an interference color. Beautiful. Oh. All right. I'm going to warm this up and move it around a bit. Okay. All right, I'm going to put Put some clear through it, like on the edges. Uh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Of the interference. Okay, let me get that warmed up a bit. some of this clear into this viola. All 
right. Put some clear here. Some clear here. Clear here. I might hold it this angel white. Well, not yet on that. I gotta make some more of this tint. I already have some of the Viola mixed up like an alcohol ink, like I was telling you, the tints you gotta mix with alcohol. So, to save time, I'll just do that. Because the transparent will go here. Then I'm going to blow the angel white over and see if we can get some super cool effect. So. Some of those heavier parts. Okay. Okay, so there's some white. Now I'm going to try to blow it around a bit more and see what we can get.
Okay, so I like the wispiness. And the feathering. But I had a hard time getting it over here. Okay. All right, all right. Looks like I'm a little uneven over here because I'm dumping a lot of stuff off. Okay. All right, now I still got my two glitters. So. I'm gonna pinch it and see if I can get it. That's good for that one. I don't know how this one's going to do. I don't think this one's going to pour as well as the other one. And it's sinking. Because glitter does that. I don't like that. a little bit thicker so it's gonna it was giving me some issues I could thin it out with some alcohol, but I don't really want to because then it will spread and I really want it to just come tight. Alright, so let's try this again. better. I went a little slower this time.
This is really pretty. Can't wait to show you it up close. It is definitely chameleon. But unfortunately, I only got a sample size jar. So I'm not sure how much it really even is. Okay. Uh, I'm sure it's probably pretty expensive. So for that reason, I'm not going to waste any. glitter line kind of disappeared a bit. Oh, pretty. Look, big blob. Starting to get a little bit thick on me. So, I have to fix a few things, including my mask, because it's fogging up on me. Uh, Alright, so, my mask was fogging up on me. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. But we're going to give that a little bit of a break. And I'm going to leave the room for a little bit and then come back. Okay, guys. I got my mask all cleared out. Um, I was going to do some other stuff to this, but um, I just kind of like fished some of the glitter stuff around a bit and uh, I think I'm gonna leave it alone and let it dry so what I have to do now is put these on it so that they will cure with the resin 
So I'm just going to go ahead and put my fork down first, I think. Now I can't really measure because they're so uneven edges that like five and a half inches this way is actually six inches this way. So I just kind of got to eyeball it, guys. So... Hopefully these four or these things don't fall down. Now on Artsy Mad Woman, she actually glued them down first, which I probably should have done, but I was excited to get started, so I did not. <laughs> so So eyeballing it is kind of all I got to go on right now. I look even that way. I see from the top. They look pretty good, even that way. So as long as they stick, I'm going to be putting them. Where's my torch? I will be putting a once this cures, I will be putting a top coat, just a flood coat on it. So that'll help secure them even more. So I'm just getting some bubbles out that I saw. And then I'm gonna look at it. Now I'm not gonna cover this up because I don't want the chance. Normally I cover my artwork up with a net so that I don't get hairs and dust, but because I'll be putting either one or two more coats on this. I'll be sanding it off anyway. So I do see a hair in this though. It's pretty big, so. That's what happens when you own a husky. This is a piece of glitter that is aggravating the crap out of me. It just won't lay down. So. All right. So I will take you in. Come get you and take you in on a close up. Ouch. Let me show you. Hang on. Okay, here it is. For me now remember um the parts that you see are like yellow or tan that's just the backing on on the uh other side that's going to be really that's going to be clear I don't like this either.
Angel White never disappoints. Look at how these clear pieces are. Look at these. I don't, I don't like that. I don't know why that it's doing it. Anyway, so there's a close up. Let me shut off some of these lights. Hang on. Okay, now you can see the magicalness, huh? That delphinium. Oh. And Look at those color art colors together. Look at that. And that light, light, light purple, that's the, that's the interference. Next. And these are my two glitters. This, this one is from Mr. Nolo's Glitter. This one is from Color Tech. Now, resin is self-leveling, so that will fill itself in. Gorgeous, guys. I love how it turned out. I can't wait for it to dry so that I can put a clear coat on it and uh, yeah I'd love to see it all finished so thanks for joining me guys I'm happy to be back and I will see you on the next one this one is a uh, I'll show you this while well, I got you this is a piece I just resined that I did uh, a few weeks before I left. Not sure what video it is, but it is on YouTube. But so I'll be putting one more coat on it. And then as always will be for sale. So, that will get one more coat. This is just a base coat uh, that I'm just letting cure because I'm going to do something fancy schmancy on that. So, it's a base coat. Ugh. It is with um, resin with unicorn, crushed unicorn horn, and Milky Way from Color Art. So yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect right now because, like I said, it's just a base. So all right, guys. So I will see you on the next video. Thanks for joining me, and please subscribe to my channel, and come visit us and join our Facebook group, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. We are up to five thousand members and uh they are all amazing so come join that group and i will see you on the next video bye guys okay hi guys i'm back um i just laid down a coat of clear resin um this will be my second coat I put some crystals on each corner of the tray and I drew a couple lines with acrylic anyway so I have some more of the um, 
of the transparent, if I put it over the transparent over these other colors, it's going to give it a lot of depth. Um, so this is just a little bit of clear with just a little a touch of the um, Lorez shimmery, what is it called? Suncatcher. Um, and then I'm going to add a little bit of this liquid silver in. supposed to be looked at and make sure you're in frame because I zoomed you in okay all right I can do without the dog hair oh what to do what to do first okay So this is just going to get strung through, just little bits. Because it's going to get blown with the blow dryer. Okay. Okay. So that's that. Basically all we're doing is um transparent stuff so that we can still see the bottom layer but it's just going to add depth So you probably can't even see it from there. Of what it's doing. Okay. Okay, okay. Got some bubbles. In the close-up, you'll be able to see what it did. Sometimes some of the slightest things can make a big difference. So I'm going to blow this just a bit. Again, you probably don't see what it's doing right now.
Okay. Okay, okay. Now we're going to add a little bit of this liquid silver in. Not a whole lot. Actually, I'm just going to use a skewer. Um, let me see how the skewer goes. Normally I would use a pipette, but Actually, if I'm going to keep redipping, uh, So, again, you're not going to see it right away. It's just going to be here and there. And this silver, it is uh, like liquid spray paint. And it sits nicely on the top, but it also sinks so that it looks um, very three-dimensional. run some up this way. See, I'm just literally dipping it. And dragging it. I'll look at it from the side here and see if it's missing anything. A little bit down here.
Okay. Don't want to put too much. Because it'll take away from everything I already did. But I think that that is enough. And then like each time you run your skewer through it or something, it ends up giving like a whole new different look. Now this is spray paint. It is flammable, but I am going to use the torch on it only because I'm going to get it to fracture. It shouldn't, it shouldn't go up in flames because <laughs> it's been open to the air. So I put my flame super high and just run along it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, my torch is almost out of flame. Okay. <sighs> so, I use my heat gun just to pop some more bubbles because my torch is out. And to spread it just a little bit more now that it's fractured from the torch. Hey guys, let me look at it. Hmm. I feel like something needs to be going through here. Don't you? This seems kind of... Going that way, going that way. I think I'm going to run it. I think I'm going to run it this way. If I can get enough out, I already put it back in its... Back in its cage.
So I'm just kind of joining it up with the other one. And then joining it up with this one here, down here. All right. I wonder if I have enough in my tank to fracture it. Okay. Get it again from the side, make sure nothing funky is happening. I don't know what this is, but I don't like it, so I'm gonna mix it in. It doesn't look right. So all right, guys. I think that's it. I think I'm going to leave it alone. And, uh... Yeah, we'll see how it dries um, in the morning. So, let me come get you for a close-up. Hang on. Okay. So this is the close-up. Let me turn off this light. My ring light is really bright. All right. So as you can see, that smoky area right there, that's where some of the transparent went back down. And then you can see the silver. I'll show you how the silver just lays on top like that. See? See that fractured look that the torch gives it? Okay, guys. Well, that's it for now until it dries. And then once it dries, I'll be putting a top coat, just a flood coat over it. Um, the designing is all done. And then I'll show it to you when it's all finished. Thanks, guys. Be back soon. Okay guys, here it is, all finished. Um, it's leaning up against my computer so you can see my screen. This part is all transparent. Uh, see, I'll show you. All transparent. So here she is. It's got four layers of resin on it. Crystals. It's 
so sparkly. I love how it turned out. Look at that. And I love that the middle and the top is all transparent. It's very cool. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I will see you on the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe. Um, and give me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.